Hello, brothers and sisters. Messenger Christopher, Spirit World X, the long ago prophesied to come melanated messiah, back with another banger, <laughs> as they say. Hey, what I need you brothers and sisters to uh, consider here on the third day of uh, December, as we could see that, I told you this is 12 days of Chris X, and I'm so glad to have the opportunity to do my job effortlessly. Well, before I begin this next clip, I want you to consider this. Stephen Darby, he's taken all of my information in t since 2021 that I've been espousing myself and, and of course the Most High and myself have been espousing and put it in his own videos, date stamped them for five, seven, eight, ten years ago. But why don't you hear Stephen Darby talking about the stopping of eating meat, consuming meat? I'll give you the answer real quick. You don't hear him talking about that because he understands he is a part of the third eye blind agenda. Now, of course, this agenda is held together by your confusion in regards to how you should be living and functioning and how it is your manifest potential is governed by what you consume, what you think, your perception, your focus. Brothers and sisters, uh, Stephen Darby doesn't talk about not eating meat because of the, none of his videos have I heard him do that. Now, I don't know if you have, please. You put a video up, let me know. But he doesn't talk about that because he knows your confusion is the glue that holds the long ago activated blood sacrifice agenda that is literally destroying the earth. It's literally destroying our matrix environment. This man understands that it's destroying it, and he understands that he cannot talk about the stopping of consuming meat, okay? So that's one point I wanted to give you before I continue on with our beautiful uh, sister coming up. Another thing, Stephen Darby, he's talked about the Matrix to this tiny degree that he has. He uh, has talked about uh, the government, he's talked about pedophilia, he's talked about gangster rappers, he's talked about poison food, he's talked about every one of my talking points that came out of my videos, and what he hasn't talked about is the third eye open and third eye blind electromagnetic conversion of the spirit our consciousness within our matrix's uh, present underworld. And of course, the underworld conversion is a metaphor for low vibrational perception. However, this man hasn't talked about any of those processes because I haven't released them to you yet. And when I do release them, you're going to know very well that I am the chosen one. And you're also going to have an opportunity to realize how close to hell all of you really are. Yeah, yeah, I told you it was coming. So I'd like you to go look over Stephen Darby's videos, get an opportunity to see that this man is nothing more than a, a sick person. He and all the rest of the individuals, the, the young girl that, um, of course, I gave you a video clip of who was attempting to uh, steer your perception so that you go to his website and uh, get all of the uh, get all of the uh, uh, what's the word I want to look for? Uh, I can't find the word. However, that video um, that that I showed you the, 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 this is a very, very, very uh, terrible situation because these individuals really feel that they're going to get over and it's impossible to get over on the most high. Always remember that uh, Billy Carlson and Stephen Darby who have not talked about any of those 
two issues that I just mentioned, the meat eating, the matrix electromagnetic conversion. Why? Because if you have that knowledge, they know that your long ago activated curse is over. Coming right up on the Worldwide Paradigm Shift Show with Messenger Christopher Spirit World X the Mahdi. The continued fall of Babylon within and without. Give me one moment here, please. Can I get a little bit of, uh, can I get a little bit of, where's, where's, where, where, where's, there we go. I woke up with this huge pimple on, on my face, y'all, but you know what I'm saying? It's good, it's good. You went too far, truth speaker. They're all exposed. I just, you know, I came to just say some chosen ones. Let's just clear the air, clear the air. Um, usually when people say things about you, you don't take it personal because it's not true. If it's not true, why would you take it personal, right? In some cases, people take it personal because, you know, they feel like you lying on them. But I'm not, you can't fight a lie. A lie is a lie. And I feel like the truth will always set you free. So I say that to say, chosen ones, people got, they feel guilty. They feel guilty because they are aware they watching, they know, they know what's up. T I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you're being discussed. If you don't think that these people are getting into their groups behind your back, discussing you, talking about you, watching you and stuff, you are. I'm telling you. And they feel that you have crossed all lines. They feel like that you have crossed lines in all ways. And me and the most high will continue, darling. A lot of people don't want to be exposed for who they are. They want to die with this fake facade of being who they really was and behind closed doors and with you with you being the awakened one with you being the truth speaker and truth seeker you are bless your heart bless your heart thank you so much you irritate the demons so much and it's so crazy you speak you speak from what you see you speak from what you be around from what you experience so if none of it is not true why do they feel the need to not cu to cut you out? Why do they feel the need to not want to be around you no more? Why do they feel the need? Why do they feel the need, chosen ones? I'm telling you, people don't want to be honest with themselves. And instead of, instead of getting mad that they ain't doing the work that they need to be doing, in there, they get mad at you. They take it out on you. They take it out on the truth speaker. They, they take it out on the truth seeker. You got people mad right now because you have interrupted their illusions. You have interrupted their pride. You have interrupted the ego. They walk, they walk in. They operate in. You womp, have interrupted womp, a lot of these womp, people's womp. illusions. A lot of what they thought was so. I'm telling you, you have interrupted with your perspective. With your truth. With your knowledge. With your wisdom. You have interrupted it. And this have caused major chaos. This have caused major chaos. This truth was not meant to be put out. This truth was not meant to be heard. People want you to hold on to their darkness. While they pretend to be in the light. While you still got all this stuff that they did to you. They said about you. How they went up against you. How they lied on you. How they turned on you. How, how they played you. How they tried to realize, play off your top while you still holding in all of what they did. It, you supposed to be the one to be strong, shut up and be okay with it. Take it before God. You never supposed to release the darkness that you accumulate, that you receive from these people. They want you to hold on to their darkness. But if you hold on to their darkness, you realize that the darkness starts to affect you. You hold on to people. Darkness, bro, it starts to affect you. Bad company ruins good mores. It mm -hmm. starts to affect you, chosen ones. That's when right. you know the truth, man, and God have placed that in you to be that one to bring forth the truth, bring forth things that others just act like they so nonchalant and arrogant about. 
I'm telling you, of course, you know, you're going against the grain. It's not hard for truth speakers and truth seekers. You just happen to be the one to see people, the world, everything for what it is. And how you deliver your truth, that depends on you. You got people that tell the truth about how the food is poisoning. You got people to tell the truth about they're very knowledgeable. And, um, you know, like state-wise, the laws, they know they laws. People are very knowledgeable and they know the truth about certain areas and degrees of things. You just happen to be the one to carry the debt. Whichever, it can be common, basic, big, it doesn't matter. You may be the one to know the truth amongst your family. Know, know the truth amongst uh, they skeletons. Know, know the truth of the people in the church. You just happen to be the one to see and know the truth. But they want you to defile yourself. They want you to defile yourself by holding on to they, they bad heart. Holding on to their bad ways. They want you to defile yourself. Actions speak louder than words, chosen ones. Actions do speak louder than words. I'm telling you, it does. It really, really does. In some cases, they feel like your actions, you, you come, you, you, you come, you not, um, they feel like that you operate from impulse situations. They feel like that you just say too much. You do too much. You're not aligning with the control they've been operating. You're not aligning with the manipulation that they up on. That's fine. You're doing a little too much. You're taking it too far. I'm telling you, you're saying too much. You're not operating in them, them same manipulation tactics and control tactics that been placed upon you for you to stay in this bubble, for you to stay in this area, for you to stay right here, for you to not say this, for you to not do this. I'm telling you, chosen ones, the goal is for you not to expand. For you to settle and be limited and okay with what's around you and make the best of it. Well, the only how you're going to make the best of something is if you bring change. Truth. Amen. Oh, you just gave me major and, and, truth. And another thing that bothers you, chosen ones, you living in your truth for yourself, holding on to other people's lies, that will really affect you. Real talk. Real talk. That will really... That will really, really affect you. This is my YouTube channel. Can't nobody tell me what I can and cannot speak on. They just mad because I'm saying it. The truth is the truth. And if I don't know you and you watching me and what I'm saying irritate you, you feel like I'm talking about you. You feel like that whatever you feel, maybe it's something wrong with you. Maybe it's something I'm saying that you just don't want to accept. Real talk. I don't right across people on numerous occasions have the speaking messages and, and talking and they say things that resonate with me i'm acceptable of who i am i don't get mad i don't get angry i don't call nobody saying girl um i'm trying to figure out who she talk you know who she talking to you know who he talking to you know they talking to you stop playing stop playing dumb stop acting dumb man stop acting like you don't know what you do because they're going to they gonna make sure you know everything you do. They're going to make sure they keep putting you in low vibrational when they know you in big energy. Real talk. They're going to use everything you do against you. Ain't nothing confrontational about you. You know people lie. And you know they full of it. That's what it is. They full of it. You can see it for what it is. They full of it. And they mad at you about it, chosen ones. These people going to stay pressed because they always the one trying to make you feel low. The ones that think they better than everybody always feel impressed. Nasty attitude. Always thinking they, they, they damn smart. Always getting smart. Always got something to say. They always be the ones that seem bothered. The ones that appear to have it all going on be so bothered. And they be bothered with people that they see less in. That they see low be beneath them. And you got the ones that pop their gums, do all of this, all that talking, they weak. They can go turn everybody against you, but they can't even fight their own battles. Mm. They can't, they can make phone calls to get you set up and plan, but they can't even fight their own battles. Amen. They got to call somebody to fight their battles for them. Fucking the cowards. loudest ones are the weakest ones. Excuse me. Christ say in script, do not be afraid of them. Amen. The loudest ones, the weakest ones. The ones that always see you low, they always be pressed because they ain't got, they ain't living in true identity. It's a facade. It's fake. It's not real. So they see somebody that ain't got what they got, 
And this person happy. This person coming out very confident. This person coming out very happy, energetically joyful, grateful, thankful, satisfied, pleased, close to God, claiming God, praising mm. God with mm. a little, with a little. And scripture says those that can be trusted with little can be trusted with much. Amen. The people were much. They see how happy you are in the little you been in. The little you was in. I'm telling you, they seen how happy you was. That's why they was pressed. That's why they was pressed. I, my, first off, mainly all my enemies ain't got really nothing. Don't look better than me, none of that. I don't be bothered with what they say. And mainly the ones that tried to hinder me and stop me from coming to the top is usually the ones that had more than me. About higher education higher education um they they even you know carry um very higher vocabulary spoke very pop um popular than me they they spoke very proper than me um they seem to appear to have it all together they was married with they ba with their child's fathers you know both parents living in the same household like you would think that people like that would be happy because they, they see they appear to have it all together but nah nah they want to know why god's chosen people the ones that struggling the ones that trying why they still standing why they ain't gave up why they ain't commit suicide i'm telling you you got god's chosen ones out there that is strong and he and he placed he he placed you in in, in situations in situations and he do things mighty things in your life so that you can come out with the image of god was for your by you and for your and for you the whole time god was always by your side chosen ones real talk god was always by your side because they never understand how you come out of what you go through they never understand how you able to escape it they don't understand it they don't understand it but as long as you're true to yourself that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We can't stop people from watching us. We can't stop people from not doing, using their time wisely. Can't stop them from gossiping. We can't stop them. They gonna do. They gonna do what they do. They gonna do what they do. But if they was doing what they supposed to be doing, they wouldn't be so bothered with you. Who you bothered by? <laughs> Who you bothered by? <laughs> I don't care where they at in life. Who you bothered by? My point exactly, because with all you got going on in your life, you occupied right now. You occupied. You occupied with your seeds, your portions, your relationship and connection with God, getting your health together, constantly healing every single day. You you occupied with what you got going on. You can't be one of them. You can't call nobody, talk about nobody, because I promise you, they gonna go against you. They gonna just because you you gossip. They gonna always use that against you. You cannot do what the Decepticons do. Amen. You can't go out star miss. They, that boy, I'm telling you, you got people that get away with fraud. You go out there and pick and pick up a piece of gum, steal a gum. I, I swear you gonna feel like the law after you. I'm telling you, it ain't meant for you to do what they do. You gotta operate in your heart. You gotta repent when you fall short. You got to chosen one. You can't operate how they operate. That's right. Real talk. So as long as you're being true to yourself, chosen ones, that, that, that's all that matter. That's all that matter. But the truth hurts. The truth hurts people. The truth hurts people. And at the end of the day, you didn't make their choices and decisions. They made their own choices and decisions. You just called it out. I'm out. Peace. Coming up on the Worldwide Paradigm Ship Show. The final days of the 12 days of Christ X, Christopher X. Sisters around the world, it's time that you truly embrace the value of who you are. You and your man are the host frequency within this matrix program controlling everything. Get ready for the final revealing very shortly. Have a good day.